Starting this week, a ban went into effect on short selling across the South Korean stock market until the end of June next year. To break down market fluctuations and how they could shape the market in the long run, our finance correspondent Moon Hyeon joins us in the studio. Hi, Hyeon. Good evening, Jungmin. Evening. So what exactly is short selling and what's behind the ban? So short selling or shorting is essentially when investors trade with borrowed shares. They do that in the hope that the price will fall later so they can buy them back at a lower price and pocket the difference. It's a very accepted and often useful tool for investors to make money and for the market to recover to reasonable prices when the stock market or individual stock prices are overvalued. But the problem actually lies with something called naked shorting, which is an illegal practice of selling shares that might not actually exist. Ever since the local financial supervisory service set up an investigation team last year, it's inspected 51 firms on suspicion of this practice. And just a few weeks ago, the financial watchdog imposed record high fines on two international investment banks. But this isn't the only reason shorting has been banned, nor is it the first. This is the fourth time that it's been prohibited, following the first back in 2008 during the global financial crisis, the second in 2011 during the European debt crisis, and the third during the COVID-19 pandemic. Kim Joo-hyun, the head of the Financial Services Committee, cited global economic uncertainty as another reason. Market instability is increasing due to the geopolitical risks of the Israel-Hamas conflict, with the domestic stock market becoming more volatile compared to other major foreign markets. So how has been the market responding? So the announcement was made on Sunday evening and the market has been adjusting since. The very first day of trade after the announcement showed the country's benchmark Kospi Composite Index surging to its largest one-day rise in over three years. It rose by 5.66% and the tech-heavy Kosdaq by over 7%. This surge led to the activation of the Kosdaq sidecar limit, which is activated when there is a rise of more than 6% compared to the previous close. This, however, didn't last. Over the next few days, stocks saw a consecutive decline as foreign investors turned into net sellers. The sidecar limit was activated once again on Tuesday, but for the exact opposite reason from the day before, to mitigate a plunge of more than 6%. The decline showed signs of slowing across Wednesday before rising again on Thursday. Some analysts say that this volatility is a result of foreign investors leaving the market. There's a possibility that as institutions and foreign investors are unable to short sell, they also won't be able to keep up the same proportion of going long and therefore damage the soundness of the financial market. Others say that it's less about foreign investors and more about the psychological effects of the ban on individual investors. The fluctuations are a sign of a market stabilizing. I think the uh, market in rise in the first day was more psychological than real uh, because so many individual investors uh, had negative uh, feelings about the market from uh, the short selling. So we saw a very high increase on the first day. And as perhaps investors looked at a longer run uh, picture uh, more reasonably, they decided that the uh, prices are probably going to we settled to a lower level. So that's why uh, we saw the prices fall on the second day. And what does the situation look like for the market going forward? So the truth is this ban is only temporary. The government is using this period to make improvements to the short sales system. In particular, the FSS addressed the need to level the playing field between domestic retail investors and institutional and foreign investors. I spoke to an expert about what disadvantages individuals currently face in the stock market, so let's take a listen. The reason that current short selling system in Korea may be disadvantageous to individual investors uh, is that, for one thing, the institutional investors, both domestic and uh, foreign uh, can borrow stocks for an extended period of time, but individual investors are limited to how much time they can borrow the stocks to engage in short selling. There are also concerns about the ban preventing the upgrade of South Korea's stock market by Morgan Stanley Capital International to developed market status.
Every June, the MSCI adjusts its watch list of emerging markets and developed markets, but Seoul wasn't upgraded this year. Finance Minister Chu kyung ho addressed these concerns, saying that the government will continue to work on reforms until next June when the temporary ban on short sales is due to end. So we'll have to wait and see. All right. Thank you for your explanation. Thank you for having me.